What's up guys, it's Nate with Skid Steer Solutions and uh, it's 2021, new year, and we got ourselves a new machine, the ASV120F. We're gonna be going over some of the features and benefits of this machine in an overview video. Um, and then later this year, we'll be doing a lot more videos with this guy uh, with many of our attachments. So let's get into some of the specs. So here's our ASV. Uh, one of the reasons we decided to go with ASV for our next demo unit, the one we're gonna be shooting a lot of these videos on, is the hydraulic system that this unit has. Um, the standard flow is 20 gallons per minute, which is great for a wide range of you know, standard attachments, but you do have high flow in this unit, which is 45, which is actually the highest you're gonna see in the compact track loader sector. Um, so it gives us a really good opportunity to show you guys mulchers as well as a lot of our other high flow attachments. Um, so that's one of the reasons we went with it, as well as overall the ASVs are very well built. Standard lift capacity of over 3,700 pounds, um, tipping capacity of over 10,000 pounds, and the unit itself weighs just over 12,000 pounds. So pretty beefy unit, um, but it allows us to put a lot of attachments on here and show you guys how they work. So one of the things that makes this baby uh, so powerful is obviously the engine that runs it. It's a Cummins 3.8, um, so it gives you a lot of power. Uh, it's got 120 horsepower, which is also actually the most horsepower you're going to see in the compact track loader sector. Um, this is the forestry package, so you are going to also have the roll cage on the back here, which protects that motor as well as the operator. Um, you also do have a hydraulic cooler system on here, as well as a lot of other cool features that we'll get into. All right, guys, one of the nice things about ASV is they've always put a lot of time and detail into their track system. And uh, with the 120F, it's no difference. You're gonna have a 20 inch wide track, which is gonna give you a very, very good footprint. One of the advantages of having that wider track too is you have one of the lowest ground pressure ratings at 4.3 PSI which is really gonna allow you to leave less of a footprint when you're driving over ground. Uh, another nice feature about these is each one of these wheels is gonna roll independently or move up independently, and that's gonna allow you to get over ground a lot easier and a lot smoother ride for the operator and allowing you to focus on the job you're doing. One of the other nice things is on here, you're gonna see uh, all across the track, you actually have four sections where it's gonna actually hold on to the rollers here. What that gives you is it actually gives you less likeliness that your track can slide off or come off in heavy debris, which all operators are gonna know if you're out in the woods or you're in an area that's hard to get to, you're you know, doing a hard day's work and then your track starts to slide off, it's probably one of the worst days you're gonna have. So it's a really nice system they have. It allows the track to stay on there for a long time and it allows you to give the operator that little bit more satisfaction that they're gonna be able to get the job done. Hey guys, I wanted to show you how easy it is to access your motor back here. So all you have to do to get into the back, you're just gonna lift up on the handle. It's gonna pop up with hydraulic hinges, which allows you to get back in there. And if you wanna to go to the sides, there's one hinge here, you pull that simply just opens up and that's a, gonna allow you to get in here. You're gonna have access to air filters, coolers, you know, pretty much everything you need to. You can also go around to the other side here and do the same thing. So you're just gonna pull out on that, just simply pull, open up, and that's gonna get you access. So you can see how much access you have here. Really, it's easy to reach in. I mean, you can fit your arm in here. You don't have to worry about you know, getting too close. You need to get to the battery, it's right there. So really easy to get in and uh, service your machine. One of the nice things about ASV is you can get it with an 8-pin or a 14-pin. Um, we went with the 8-pin setup here, so you just simply remove your electrical cap, open that up, and that's going to get you access to your 8-pin, which is going to make it really easy to run a wide range of attachments. Um, as always, you can get adapters from this to other stuff if you have a 7-pin or something like that on your attachment side. Um, Skid Sear Genius is a great resource for that. Then on your hydraulics here, you're going to notice they have a guard plate here. This is really nice because you're not going to have to worry, especially when you're doing more mowing and some of the heavier duty stuff, you're not going to, have to worry about branches and debris getting in here and starting to smash up against the side of your hydraulics. Um, you'll notice that they have your standard flow right here. Then you're going to have your high flow couplers as well as a case drain, which makes it really easy to get into. One of the really nice features of this hydraulic block too is on the very top here, you'll notice a little button. That's going to be your hydraulic pressure relief. So let's say you're trying to hook up an attachment and you have a lot of back pressure. You can just go ahead and press in on that and that's going to release that pressure and allowing you to actually be able to snap your quick couplers on. Uh, so one of the really nice things about the ASV is they have a pressurized cab. Uh, one of the really great things about that is especially when you're mowing or you're doing uh, dirt work, you're going to get a lot of dust and debris up in the air. You don't want to be breathing that in all day. You're going to get out of the cab and feel completely exhausted. Um, so one of the nice things is having a pressurized cab allows you to breathe fresh, clean air all day while you're operating, no matter how dirty it is outside. One of the other really nice features about the forestry version is their forestry door as well as cab. Um, so they're gonna have it reinforced all the way around. One of the nice things is you're gonna have these bars inside that gives you just that little extra reinforcement and also insurance that you're not gonna have to worry about debris coming through at you while you're mowing. 
Um, it's also a poly cab, so it's nice and thick, allowing you to have a little extra protection as well. So inside the cab of the ASV guys, you're gonna have your joystick controls, which is gonna make it really easy to operate, really intuitive too. Um, even you know, new operators will jump in here and it's pretty simple, you pretty much have two controls. So you're gonna be able to operate your bucket and movement with this here, and then you can be able to move all your operations as far as forward and backwards here. So that's really easy. You do have a lap bar, um, so that's just a safety lap bar. You're gonna pull that down, just giving you a little bit extra security while you're inside here. Um, you do obviously have seat belts as well. Um, nice thing about this one is it has AC as well as heat, which is going to make it really comfortable for the operator no matter where you are. Um, you can have operators, you know, up in Alaska or Canada and some of the cold and be pretty toasty warm in here. Or same, you can have someone down in Florida doing some mulching and have some AC on and, you know, they're feeling totally comfortable as well. Um, so it's a pretty good size cab. Um, I'm 6'4", so pretty, pretty tall guy. And uh, overall, I mean, I have some leg room. I've got pretty decent visibility out to the sides. Um, the arms are pretty big, so you're not going to see down as easily, especially when the arms are all the way down. Um, but overall, it's definitely a very comfortable cab. Um, so something that I've been really impressed with so far. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Um, this isn't our only new exciting machine that we got for 2021. We will also be bringing in an excavator, but I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, you got to stay tuned to the next video to see that one. Go ahead and leave your comments below on what you'd like to see us demo, as well as uh, any information or any thoughts you have on this machine here. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to our channel, go ahead and click right here. And if you want to watch more great videos like this, you're going to hit right there.